There is a general perception, general belief that existing clients will continue to renew their contracts with you. For example, let's say you're selling a software license and uh, that has to be renewed uh, every year. Uh, or let's say you're a parts supplier to OEM in manufacturing or in electronics and uh, you're getting new RFQs and new orders year on year. So people assume that that's going to keep flowing all the time. In a static world that's driven uh, mainly by the sellers, yeah, that could be true. But in today's world, even a company like Google can't relax. You know, as of 2023, OpenAI and uh, hundreds of other startups or a direct threat to Google. So revenue from existing clients, what we call as an uh, intrinsic growth or intrinsic revenue can fall into two categories, two types, uh, penetration of existing services and products into existing accounts. For example, geographical expansion or you receive new RFQs for uh, similar products or services uh, that you have been offering to an existing client but now you're doing it for their new needs uh, for their new products and the second could be cross-selling or upselling some of your new services and products uh, to your existing clients now this can be complementary services uh, in the upward or on the downside uh, of your value chain usually you know when you try to acquire clients uh, there is a game plan but when we talk about uh, meeting the revenue goals or revenue targets from existing accounts, is there a game plan? Usually, upselling and cross-selling uh, is used as a tool and uh, people assume or people consider that this is a low-hanging fruit, an easy win. But that's not always the case. And if you have actually tried it yourself, you would know that even a long-standing relationship uh, it's not very easy to upsell or cross-sell. In fact, it's even more difficult because the clients now have certain notion about you, your organization and your organization's uh, capabilities. So when you want to sell something new to them, uh, they are not really you know, convinced, isn't it?